Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Super Paper Mario. I'm Karen Maku. And I'm Doom Dragon. We're still not okay from the last episode. You want to know why? Go watch it. Okay, so... Because <laughs> uh, we're not going to say it here. Just in case uh, that video got, like, something happened to it. I don't know what... Go find out if it's still up. Uh, let's see. Where do we need to go? I don't have the slightest fucking clue, my guy. Hmm. It's weird that you can only stay like this for so long. I mean, I feel like it... Uh, I didn't want to go in there! There's no, like, map or anything like that that you can check, right? No, there isn't. Yeah. There, there really isn't. I wish there was! I'm gonna try something. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that worked! <laughs> That's not the one we need to go to, but like, I don't know, I just wanted to see where it would take me. <laughs> mm. Oh well, um... We need to figure out where this thing is. Maybe it's like one more floor down? Oh. <laughs> you're, well, you're on the second floor now. I know, so... I need to go one more floor down, maybe. Yeah, I don't know either, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna come back? Hi. Hey. Hey. I'm excited for Spider-Verse 2. Wait, didn't we get two pixels? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Because it's like... Okay, there we go. I was going to say that, like, each pure heart is blocked off by the pixels you get in the area, so I just had, like, no fucking clue which one was going to be required. So, y'all just living on this side of the universe, huh? <laughs> We're safe inside our wall. It keeps out all those filthy immigrants. <laughs> Please, let's not start the jokes now, Cody. <laughs> They're just... What? <laughs> Hang on, Tippy, can you... You know, just a casual space riff. A rip in space and time. Okay. It's a hole in the universe that God forgot about. Uh, eight bucks each color one. What? Mm. Okay, so there's fucking... There's something behind this, but I can't get it because it's blocked by this. Maybe it's in that building. What building? Alright, man, never mind. I didn't mean this building, but whatever. Get out! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I don't know I where am... this is. Dude, I'm gonna be sick. Well, don't be. Can't you turn into the flat one, maybe? Would that do a thing? Nope, not what I meant. I know, but I mean, like, where would I go? Into the crack. No, it's too high, and also that's not how that works. Coward. You're a fucking coward, you piece of shit, bitch. <laughs> All right, man, calm down. Okay, I'm sorry. Sounds to me like somebody doesn't want me to make him dinner tonight. Uh, no, I want dinner. Sounds like somebody's gonna have to starve. You <laughs> Shut up. No! <laughs> but now I'm gonna starve. Dude. Yeah? What's up? I hope to god this is another episode where just fucking nothing happens. Oh hey, there's the thing. We're gonna pause the episode. Okay, fine. We'll start it back up and we've actually figured shit out. Dude, it is. Okay, good. Found it. Dude, that's great. You get your fucking pure hard ass in there. Shove it in. And it doesn't fit. <laughs> it just doinks off. It turns out that the pure hearts are actually like Slightly different sizes. S uh, slight enough that you can't tell the difference, but man, does it make a difference when you're trying to put them where they're supposed to go. God, how many doors are there? There's, it's a rainbow 
So, how many colors are in the rainbow? Don't you fucking do this to me, dude. <laughs> Count, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me just get back to the fucking place, dude. Get back to the Hang on. fucking place. Use it. Just returns you to right here. Man, that would fucking suck. Bummer. Yeah, cool. We're back at the top of the tower. Let's go through the fucking stupid ass door. You good? I'm tired. Listen, man, this is the last oh, one oh, in this man. recording setting. Mario and his new friends opened the door, unsure of what they would find. All the while, Merle's words about fighting the other two heroes rang in their minds. Were these other heroes somewhere in this new world? If not, where? I really hope this is the other world that I really like. Meanwhile, the creeping void grows larger in the skies above Flipside. The hopes of all worlds rested on the heroes finding the next pure heart. Please be it. There's the train. It is! It is the other place that I really like. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait for you to see it. God, the screen is bright. <laughs> <laughs> no. Everything is pixels. Oh, I'm gonna hit you. Oh, Jesus Christ, is this really what this entire level looks like? So this is where that door leads. I suppose the next pure heart must be nearby. Mario just starts dry heaving because of all the pixels. He's like, Ugh. That's odd. Ugh. They can feel it nearby, but where could it be? I can't see. Oh, well, they're dead. This is you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I've forgotten Geppetto's name. Oh, God. Hey, Technical. I caught a super rare pixelated butterfly. My friends at digibutter.nr are going to freak when they get word of this find. I must bring it home and put it in a jar. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I can't miss this week's episode of the Grotus Chronicle. Oh my god, this is fucking painful. No way am I going to entrust my digital record meow to take, tape an episode so epic. This is so high technical. I'm gonna throw up. Don't worry, it gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, -ho -ho, a kidnapping. Oh, the despair, the awful spectacle of it all. The shocking scene occurred right before my very own tender eyes. Well, I guess that that's a wrap for that pixel. Now that that freak Francis has has got her. What? So you gonna know, like come out or? Did I say something wrong or are you no, just saying what's in this person? I'm just so confused by everything that's happening right now. Oh God. Who's this guy? A friend of the butterfly girl that got nabbed. Well, that's a pity. The geek that grabbed her, Francis, basically the nerd to end all nerds. Plus, he's got this thing for butterflies. It's real fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he puts them in jars, and then you don't want to know what he does after he that. He puts them in jars, and then... <laughs> <laughs> and, well, all things nerdy, too. If he gets his sweaty mitts on something he likes, there's no getting it back. He has a jar for every My Little Pony character, and they're all full. What does that mean? <laughs> like, what does that mean? What are you talking about? He, co he collects stuff and keeps it in a big fantasy fortress. It's like geek paradise. Well now, you want to know where, Francis where Fort Francis is? Well, if you, if you go all the way down ahead for miles and miles, you'll find it. You're not thinking of infiltrating the nerd lair and rescuing her, are you? Yeah. Look, nobody likes having their butterfly kidnapped by a geek petter... <laughs> petter fly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but it's but it's dangerous. Oh, I guess you're right. I'll go home and take a nap. I'll just let Tippy die. <laughs> well, I think she's about to suffer a fate worse than death. <laughs> Turns out he just likes to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> like an actual chameleon. <laughs> Still set on it, eh? What a tender moment. I think I got something in my eye here. Oh, wait. I don't have eyes. Fuck you. Listen, let me give you some travel tips. Did you get the tips? <laughs> <laughs> you listen Just the tip. <laughs> you listening? Good. All I got for you is three critical tips, so remember all of them. How much longer is this person going to talk? Here's your first tip. A bunch of no-class jerks are holed up in this castle up ahead. It, it ain't going to be easy getting past them. Just, just here's... But here's the juice. It's an old castle. You do your thing with that red X mark, and maybe something will happen for you. Now for my second tip. If you somehow pass those clowns in the castle, you'll see an ocean. Can't miss it. A scary sea monster lives there. The beast is huge and cranky. He's still fucking talking, dude. But He's... if he toast its red flipper thing, something good is bound to happen. That's its G spot. <laughs> the only way to beat a tentacle monster. Find uh, the G spot. I don't know why anyone says the clit's hard to find. It's right there. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> And here's the last tip. Some would say once the size of a quarter. Once you swim <laughs> your way through the ocean, you'll see a humongous tree. There's a the huge... The Great Deku Tree. You'll, it'll be in a different game. You'll, there's a huge gorge on the other side. There's no jumping across it. There's a huge Jorge. Don't mention his size. Look for, look for the red wind and do something with it. Then you'll... Then you can get across. Dude, his advice is pretty much just, yeah, go to this place, do these things, do some other things, and then finally do a thing. Got all that good. You, uh, you be careful now. If by some crazy chance you do save her, come back and tell me what you did. Well, he was fucking useless. <laughs> yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Just letting that Wait, guy Wait, is this talk? the first Mario level? No, it isn't. What do you mean? This isn't the first Mario level. Is it? No. It's been a minute since I've like played Mario or anything like that. Hey, we got a turtle leaf. Yeah, I know. Now it's we fun, can turn right? into a turtle. Yeah. We can have an absolutely terrifying penis. <laughs> Excuse? I've told you about turtle penises before, dude. They're terrifying. Like, okay. Of all animals, turtles have the scariest penis. Okay, I, I'll trust you on that one. It I don't want to ask any follow-up questions. It is half the length of their body. And it is... I see you! It's like this thin, and then at the end it just flares out to like a fucking plate. Why'd you say that it, like that was supposed to be thin? Well, because it's proportionate. It's, like, it's thin, and then all of a sudden it's like a dinner plate for you. It's terrifying. Also, guys always have to exaggerate penis sizes. It's like the law of being a dude. Shit! You got this. Mm. Hang this. on. Uh, nope, no, not the return pipe. No, I'm You accidentally go all the way back. You got this, dude. You got this. Shut up! <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think you are, man. You really do like to do that stuff. I <laughs> love you. I love you too. Hey, you're all the way back there now. Yeah. Whee. Whee. Dude, I really want to watch the Mario movie again. I do too. But I we gotta. But we either have to buy another ticket or wait for it to come out. Oh, fuck! <laughs> um, uh... Captures a, a soul? Let's get rid of this. Cool. But, um... God, I was not expecting Bowser to sing. More than expecting him to sing well. And the thing is, you thought it was catchy. Yeah. Got stuck in my head, at least. Really, the only downside was the kid behind us. Yeah, that the parents really did nothing to stop that fucking kid. I I gotta be honest. I like genuinely believe that like children should not be allowed in movie theaters until they are at a certain age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I honestly think you should not allow your kids in a movie theater until they're like old enough to know to sit down and shut the hell up. 
I'm not an asshole for that, am I? No. Okay. Because it's like the thing is, those parents were definitely like taking their kids to the theater to sit them down and shut up, like to just shut their brains off, because they got tired of taking care of their own children. Yeah, which like that's never a good idea. And you can't get too mad at the kids for it either, because they don't know any better. You know, they're just kids. They're just, they don't understand any of that stuff, so it kind of falls on you as the parent to, you know, teach your kid how to behave. Yes, please teach your kid to be, like, aware of where they are. And also, don't overestimate your child. If your kid is dumb as hell, and you know for, oh shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Uh oh. This isn't good. <laughs> He's gonna turn into a huge turtle. No? Oh, yes. I was like, he's gonna become a boat? <laughs> but yeah, like, I mean, don't overestimate your kid. If you know for a fact that your kid can't handle being in a movie theater, don't take your kid to a movie theater. Like, unless you know for a fact your kid is just gonna sit down. Lonnie. I'm screwed. Lonnie. Oh, hey. Could've just folded the universe over. Hang on. Might be easier to wait for him on his return trip, Lonnie. Now something came out. What is this going to wear off for him? I don't know. I don't think it will. That's not fair. Oh. <laughs> it just turns into like a giant epic kaiju style fight. <laughs> God, I have to wait for Mario to get drawn too. God, this guy with the Etch-a-Sketch, though, is doing a great job. Yeah, you killed it. <laughs> like, uh, when we have kids, we're probably not going to take them to a theater. No. Until they're old enough to know better. <sighs> the moment they learn how to sit down and shut the fuck up... <laughs> New fall tab. in between the oh. red pipes. Okay. Yeah, but because it, it's like, I feel like what we should do is we should have, like, a test run, right? Where, like, at our house, we put a movie on, we give our kids popcorn and a snack, and we test and see how they behave, right? Yeah. And if they behave well enough, they get to go to the theater. They go to the big people theater. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got your whole ass eaten. Ah, fuck. Uh... Yeah, Peach does not have a double jump on Mario also not have a double jump? No. Really? The only way around those is the fucking flip. You know, just folding the universe in on itself. Do you ever get a surge of pain in your head that feels like somebody just stabbed a railroad spike, in, spike into your face? No. Hmm. Where the fuck is the red pipes? I don't know. I don't know, but all I know is you gotta fall in between them, Lonnie. Okay. <laughs> I think there was something more the other way. Oh no, you already went that way. Never mind. Ah, the red pipes! Kenny! Oh, uh, uh, Kenny, uh, there's a the red pipe! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> and then there's just a bone shattering crunch. Hey, black Goombas. Hide your wallet. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't think you are. I could help myself. No, you really couldn't, could you? God, it's so fucking noise when they all jump at once. Burly leaf. God, the game cannot handle having this many things on screen. <laughs> you're kind of, you're, you're, you're blowing its mind, dude. Oh, you just killed me. Dude! Person. Murder! Pretty sure that was just murder. Yeah, no. Killers. That power-up seems kind of useless to me. Went up. Like, I kind of feel like that power-up doesn't do anything. Eh, it's okay. I mean, does it... Is it though? Does it really do anything, Lonnie? Honey? Does it help? I don't know. No? In doing anything? Ah, oh, well, ah, shit. <laughs> That's a whole nother level for me saying that. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you ground pound on it, it'll give you more coins, but whatever. You can't ground pound in this game. Well, if you'd hit it more, maybe. 
Oh well. Oh, dude, did I ever tell you that, like, turns out the coin that gives, or the block that gives you more than one coin was a bug? Yeah, you told me that. That's a cool fact. <laughs> <laughs> Just for a split second, you can hear the screams of hell. The fuck? <laughs> you fall and you just hear like like Mario just screams. Oh god, it's out of you! The real religion is. <laughs> he dies. Hey, cool, dude. If this bad guy calls you a noob, I'm gonna lose my shit. I don't like that smile. You shouldn't. <laughs> halt. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking, I was like, I could give him a goofy voice. I really don't feel like it. Yeah, you, this is Bowser's castle. And his burliness doesn't like chumps like you geeking up the place. You're about to get a complimentary nose job, courtesy of my shell. I do like the blue shell Koopa in the movie. Cause oh, he was fucking... He was a fucking ride or die. <laughs> dude, he was so ready to kill. My head fucking hurts. I'm sorry. He was so ready to kill, dude. It was not funny. Also, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies, I just have to say, it looks ugly. It's not ugly. It looks ugly to me, man. I just don't think you like that art style. I don't mind the art style. The turtles themselves are just ugly. <laughs> they look like frogs. Oh god, he disappeared! He's in another plane of existence! Sorry, my constipation's getting the better of me. Oh, hey, it's that hey, thing. The, the, the place. Uh, he told me to put a bomb there. Just, just look at that. Yeah. Commit uh, acts boom. of casual terrorism. Fuck Bowser's castle. Yo. Uh. Oh, please don't. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, hey, Bowser's actually here. <laughs> I didn't here. know you were actually here, man. Hey, buddy. You're slightly orange. Please tell me someone didn't just blow up my awesome lair. Because I really can't take being homeless right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know that stash from somewhere. Lario, it's you. <laughs> Damn it. Mario and Princess Peach. He just grabs her and runs away. Why do you always have to do that? That's like the hundredth time you've shown up at my castle and screwed everything up. Do you think this is cheap to repair? Do you? You think it's cheap to rebuild all this shit? Because it's not. I gotta pay contractors. I gotta pay insurance. God, my credit is fucking awful. And then there's always one wall that's just crooked. <laughs> gotta start all over again. The one tile that wants to be green and then you try to build a square and it ends up with a circle. God damn it! And then there's always the fact that every time I build my throne room over a pool of lava, someone always includes the switch that makes the floor disappear. I mean, why do you do that? But now you've entered a fortress of pain, Mario. No more sequels. It's gonna end right here, right now. Once and for all. Oh shit, <laughs> you ran right into that dude. So, uh, what's the plan here? I guess I think. Ah, damn it, he jumped. What is the plan here? Can you, you throw bombs? I can't throw bombs. Good job, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. Never mind. No! I hate Mario! It's... it's not fair! Hopefully no one takes advantage Mario. of me in this position. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Apples. Are you okay? Yeah. Princess Peach! You wanna marry me? My lovely wife! No, they are married. Remember, she did say I do. Mm -hmm. I am going to cast some doubt on whether or not Count Black is a, you know, church-ordained priest. Legally qualified for marrying people. You don't know how uh, their system works here. Your wife? 
Oh god. You got this, man. Get that yawn out. You can do it. Shut up. What? Are you kidding me? How could you forget our big day? That sham was not a wedding. What are you doing here anyway, Bowser? How should I know? I was locked up in Count Black's stupid castle. And then all of a sudden, BAM! Me and my minions wake up face down this field. Then we found this awesome castle and I thought, Why not make myself a lair? Uh, you see, Bowser, we really need your help. Why don't you come with us? Wait, what? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Black got us married just to make a chaos heart so that he could destroy the world? Bummer. Yes, and that's why we and that's why we need you to help us find the pure hearts. No, I don't want it. I'd think about it if it was for you, but there's no way I'm helping Mario. We don't have time for you to be a big baby about this. Come on, Bowser, please. But but I'm Bowser. I'm grade A one hundred percent prime cut final boss. I'm gonna take I'm going to take over the world any day now. No way am I helping Mario. He's always trashing my awesome plans. Please, for me. No, I don't want. What'd you say? If the world ends, there's not going to be any world for me to rule. And what would happen to your poor minions who were caught by Count Black? They've been brainwashed. Uh, they now do his evil bidding, not your evil bidding. Now your minions will have to toil under a different cruel, merc cruel and merciless master. But, but, why, you? Mm. Why? <laughs> Fine, I'll join your stupid little quest. You happy? Oh, thank you, Bowser. You're so sweet. No, I'm not sweet. And I'm not helping Mario just to save a bunch of worlds. I'm only doing it so I can rule Sunday. So don't get all cuddly with me, Mario. Alright, Bowser, you big sweetie. Nice. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't care what you do. Lord Bowser. Oh, God. <laughs> Your crabbiness. Are you leaving us? What? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, minions, hold down the fort until I return. Your lair is safe with us, sir. So. Oh, sir, it seems that Count Black has brainwashed some of your loyal hench people. They're probably going to be forced to attack you, so, 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 so feel free to dole out some punishment. Well, of course, we'd love to come along and defend you, but, you know, we'd just uh, get in the way of your heinousness. Clobber that count for a... I'm getting tired of doing voices, man. <laughs> I'm having to jump all over the place. Yeah, anyone who wears a cape and a monocle is just begging for a beating. <laughs> Long live King Bowser. We'll miss you, your surliness. Party! Well, you guys. Fine. Come on, let's get your stupid precious heart or whatever you call it. I said move it! Uh, should we end it here? Yeah, I think so. It seems like a good time to Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Super Paper Mario. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.